Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of The Family Podcast. My name is Sammy. My name is Don. And welcome to the show. Now today, Aye. Don's been looking forward to this for Bro. ages. <laughs> Bro. Listen, yeah, it's very rarely yeah, that mm. I have like, I mean we had Cyril on as well, innit? but like childhood friends, like people that I've grown up with and even more so, yeah, mm. for people who know me, like friends I grew up with who like, adore music mm. like i don't get that often in it so you know i thought like this time i was like bro and then when junior <laughs> said he was coming on i was like <laughs> bro i was excited bro. excited so welcome to the show junior thank you for having me man appreciate bro. it appreciate yeah, no it. Appreciate problem it, at all man thank you and we are gonna wreck your brain so Let's for, go. tell the people tell the people who you are like man um i'm just a humble guy <laughs> Well, I was born and raised from Brixton, um, and from Brixton I moved over to Essex. But I'm just a musician, upcoming musician, that's trying mm. to get somewhere in my life, you know what I mean? Mm. Just thankful for the journey and just everything that's been happening in my life, man. So that's where I'm at, man. And I'm also just trying to develop as a man, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> yeah, man. So that's, that's me. So I want to ask you, yeah, mm-hmm. how's life for a Brixton man in Essex? It's mad, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, like, how can I put it? I know this sounds really rolled, innit? You get to Essex, yeah? Mm. And obviously you moved from Brixton, so you're thinking, all right, you're gonna hear a lot more sirens, you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear a lot more like, you know, little beef situations here and mm. there, you know what I'm saying? But you get to Essex, you're just hearing like birds and that, like, mm. and then you come, it's like, yo, what's, what's going on? So no beef happening, like? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No but sirens no, whatsoever. No, bro, nothing like that. All, the, all you hear is the ambulance, really. <laughs> and it's just like, bro, like, you lot are really living a good life. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I've lived out there for about 11 years now. Okay. And it's been a, a, a weird transition for me because I'm still used to the, the Brixton... Like, um, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, bro. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's honestly like what I miss. But in terms of like now, I feel like because I've transitioned into a different person where I live suits my personality. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like I'm very like low key. I don't like to be around too much. Mm. Very introverted. But when I come out at work, I feel like it's for the people and it's necessary to give your energy to the people. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? And when work is done, it's just like I'm. Back in the show. Back in the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I can totally yeah. relate to that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. And that's the thing. It's really funny here yeah, because <coughs> Sammy's like an introvert, isn't it? It's and weird. I'm an extrovert. Like, it's, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's weird. So I'm a type of dude, yeah, that... Because he's spoke about you for time. Like, oh, he's he's so spoke long. about this for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so like, I'm a type of guy that just likes to study on the cover. So I'm just like, mm. all right, all right. So I'm, I, I, I watched your stuff. No, mm. I ain't no, you know... Any scary guy, I just like to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that when people be like, um, this is quite all right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, but like, I was watching and I was just like, no, nah, okay, this guy seems like a very quiet guy, but when it comes to something he's passionate about, he's very out there. Mm-hmm. But like, when the work is done, he's back to himself. And that's what I realised. So this is yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Watching our two Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> very, very interesting. It's mad because we still got the same beat in, same jollof rice plate, same, <laughs> <laughs> same everything. It's true, like, man. Yo. Yeah. Oh, it's so different. It's mad. I love that, though. So, like, all right. So, because I know about you, I know that Sam's going to want me to do Let me start drinking from now. <laughs> <laughs> so... You told the people a bit about, you know, kind of who you are. Yeah. What I know about you is that, obviously, you're a musician. And yeah. ever since I've known you, it's been the drums. Like, ever since. Yeah. So, how did you get into drumming? Boy, I don't know. I feel like I was born into just rhythm, bro. Like, mm. I really wish I can explain what it is. Even my parents are confused, like, because it's weird. So, my, my family are, are very good dancers. Oh, okay. okay, but none of my family play an instrument except for my uncle, okay. right? So mm. it was that's why it was very hard for people to kind of adjust to be like, "What's this boy doing?" Like, <laughs> Do yeah, yeah. I mean? So like, I remember like we'll play like we'll be at a party, we'll be playing and stuff, and then I'll be like dancing in the room and stuff like that. But from birth, like every time I hear Michael Jackson, he was like my biggest. Like, mm. okay, oh my gosh, like yeah. So the little hee-hee. you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like that. So, He's a born performer. Uh, so, like, it was mad. So, just hearing his music, I just started to just go, like, on a mad one, really. Mm-hmm. And, like, I remember my dad would just have cassettes of just 
back in the days, younger people. <laughs> cassettes, yeah, yeah, cassettes. Bad, we right? had to rewind, yeah. you know, <laughs> and come back to our favourite song. Mm. Not the digital thing when you're pushing it forward, like, anyway. But, yeah. like, yeah, it was mad. So we got the cassette and stuff, and, um, and then I started to watch the videos. And then I just, for some weird reason... VHS, yeah? Yeah, VHS, bro. Do you, know, you remember when your mum used to be like, hold the camcorder? Like, the yeah. big camcorder, boy. Yeah, with Look yeah, like big, I was, big, you had to rest it on your shoulder. <laughs> you should be wet, boy. That was the right. cancellation of the rest <laughs> of your life. Do you know the worst one is when you realise, because it's your favourite tape, you have to be so careful. Mm. Oh, once yeah. you overplay it and the tape thing comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, I remember that happened to me. I got so shit, yeah. You know African parents, innit? Like, yeah, they're not going to understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I remember my dad caught me, yeah? Mm. So I was watching Michael Jackson, like, air drumming and dancing and trying to do the rewalk for over anyway. <laughs> but, you know, so I, I played it so much, yeah, and then, like, I tried to take out the tape, yeah, mm. and it got stuck. Oh. And, and I, I pulled it, the whole thing came out. That's when you know you're in trouble when the Rada. tape gets stuck. And you know when you hear footsteps? <laughs> <laughs> and it's mad, yeah, because I know the different footsteps sounds between my mum and my dad. Okay. So I knew my dad was coming. <laughs> yeah, bro. So obviously, I'm just like, oh, okay, this is mad. This is mad. Mm. And I just... So obviously my dad called me Oyens in it, so he's like, Oyens, come on, yes dad. <laughs> what is that there? I was like, oh, no, 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 dad, that's just, you know, just, no, and he saw it. I said, oh my God. <laughs> you know, like, you just, you, you know, like, you just lay there, just like, just do what you got to do. Yeah, 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 You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But like, I think, because he saw how much I love MJ, mm. he just got me another tape. Oh, uh, that's so, yeah, that's you know so I mean? blessed. So my, yeah, dad, yeah. my dad is a G, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's so um, blessed. Although he was very confused about the whole thing of like, why do you love music? I mean, he knows I love music, but I think he just didn't know where I was going with it. Mm. So yeah, so I grew up just basically just loving music and stuff. And um, it was weird because again, going back to where I came from, like Brixton, was it was mad because everyone in my ends could rap. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. they weren't man them that were like, oh yeah, I sing because they'd be like, are you gay, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So it was hard. So like, I knew I could play, but I couldn't tell the man them. And it's mad because like the man them were like my my oldest, my close ones. They're still my close ones today. I still mm. go there. I'm going there mm. after this. Okay, okay. Yeah, just yeah. to check on them and see how they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Because I just want them to be out of trouble and stuff. But um, so I remember like hearing them spit and then hearing them rap, and I'm just like, oh, I can't even do that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're just the hype guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could do, bro. Yeah. By then, my voice didn't even break. So I'm like, yeah, shut up! <laughs> so obviously, like, I'm just hearing them, and I was just like, nah, this is this is long, innit? So I just thought, let me just keep playing and just, you know, and it's mad because I was going to church as well. So mm. I, I remember hiding my drumsticks away from the mandem so they don't see. Oh, Because man. I weren't sure of the judgment I was going to get. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? So. This this is it. Get, it leads into the story where I'll get to when it depends if you ask me where yeah. I'm going with it. Mm. But that's when I start to realize I need to find myself because if I have to hide my identity from people, there's a problem. Mm. Especially uh, your friends, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I realize that yeah. Do you know what? This this needs to be a thing where like I, I shouldn't be ashamed of it. This is a mm. gift that I was given and stuff like that. So the journey is a long story. I'm just kind of cut. Yeah, cut, yeah, cut, yeah, cut, 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 cut yeah, story. <laughs> but you know what? Like, so I thank God for my boy. Um, but he's he's pastor. Um, mm. so he's the reason why I actually took it more seriously. I remember mm. we was in um primary school. Okay, and like. Me and him used to get so gassed about MJ, like we just dance all the music, mm. and, like like all the like sick dance moves and stuff. And then I remember like him seeing me play, and he was just like, "Yo, bro, like you're sick, bro." Yeah. Mm. And I was just like, "Nah." I didn't believe in myself. Of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because obviously introverts usually oh, come. Yeah. Bro, and it's weird because you get the you know them uncles in church that would, "Oh, you are amazing, ah, mm. <laughs> you are amazing," but like. Someone else see you like, brother, you got a long way to go. So it's, I try to keep the balance, balance yeah. you know what I mean? And I've always been a man of balance. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, so he told me that. When my boy told me that, I was like, I'm going to take it seriously. Mm. And these are by then, and those times, um, I had the wrong friends and they were part of his friends as well. Mm. So it was crazy for me because um, it's like you want to fit in, but you you don't want to fit in. Yeah, right? yeah. And at the time, everyone wanted to be respected, but respected in the wrong way. Mm. So that was when I had to make that decision that I need to find me now before it's too late. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll never forget the words before I last saw him. He, like, I was on my way to, to school mm. and um, he saw me and he was like, bro, like, say out of trouble, man. Like, 
it's not this is this is not it. I'm just like, all right, cool, bro. Like, I love you and blah blah blah. He's like, bro, just keep doing the music thing. I didn't know that was gonna be the last time I saw him. Yeah. yeah. And um, so he got he got killed because of the whole gang thing. And yeah. That just changed the whole dynamics of my life, bro. So mm. I was just like, you know what? How can I lose a friend at fifteen? Mm. Yeah, that's mad. To me, that's mad. Yeah, it's usually mad. you'd kind of hear a story of oh, he was twenty something, or mm. yeah. you know what I mean. But yeah, I, in our era, like I'm sure, yeah, exactly. Guys, yeah. You know what I mean? Like losing someone from like fifteen, sixteen, it's it doesn't make sense. But then that's how it got really crazy because that's when I start to get numb in terms of feelings. I was mm. like, oh, this is this is mad. Mm-hmm. This isn't good, you know. So. He's honestly the inspiration of why I'm doing what I'm doing now. So hey, that's amazing. God bless you, Alex. Like you're my hey, Um So school again, you're caught up in peer pressure mm, mm. and trying to act as if you're the guy. Our schools were crazy. What school did you go to? I went to Lamprey. Oh my! What school did you same same school? No, no I went to Sellers. Okay, I went Pimlico. Oh, oh is it? I'm in Pinnacle. Yeah. So, like, Mode Comedian, shout out to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy. Uh, Mode Comedian. Who else is that went to our school? Uh, quite a few people, but Mode is just representing right now. Mm. Um, and, like, same with him. You'll always be supportive, and I'll just be like, no, nah, man, man's just trying to just fit in. And again, I just couldn't. I was battling myself. Yeah. yeah. And when I realized I was battling myself, I knew I'd, I'm just losing. You know what I mean? And that was a very good time for me because I realized that if. You know, at a young age, I should deal with it now before I'm getting into the teenage age, like mm. age basically. And um, and I realized I was just like, oh man, like I know I'm gonna get cussed for this. You've gone soft, blood. Like you've left us, and, da, 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 da. Mm. and that was all I was getting, just getting bad with like backlash mm-hmm. and stuff. And then I just remember just going to like lunchtime will happen I'll usually be at a football pitch or we'll climb over just to get KFC yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no 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 it's not in blood you know what yeah, I mean so no. it was mad so um, I just remember just going to the, um, to like lunchtime just going to the music room and just practicing 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 and mm. um, I was just doing it in secret and then uh, my teacher Miss Hudson like she's like you're amazing and she would never understood why I always get in trouble and I just and I was honest I was just like I, education really not me like, that's for a lot of us do you know what I mean yeah. and I really wish I was as smart as you think I am but again it goes back to the lack of self confidence you know yeah. what I mean and it was just like oh, I don't know if I can if I can do it you know and then I remember um Miss Hudson and Mr. Francis, my teachers, I love them very much. Um, would just I like, swear, like, there's a Mr. Francis in every school. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I swear, the Mr. the Mr. Francis are the ones that give you the most headache. Mm. Yeah, but that's because they believe in you. Yeah, yeah. it's true. He it's gave true. me so much. I never forget. I almost switched on him so much. Like, I remember, like, he was just on my case, yeah, and I'm just like, you don't know me, bro. Mm. He's just mm. like, you're so talented. What are you doing? I'm just like. <laughs> I was like, right, that kind of touched the nerve. Like, <laughs> Careful now, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, do I, do I hug you? <laughs> but it was crazy, and I thank, I thank him for it. And he made me do a performance at the end of the year. Mm. And um, and not only that, sorry, I forgot the main part. So I did competitions with the school band, and like we did, um, we performed for the Queen um, at the Royal Albert Hall. Bro. And that to me was mad because I'm young. That don't make sense. This is on BBC. Mm. We ended up winning. Mad. And I was like, right about who? At this age. Mm. Mm. This all made sense. And that's when I knew. When I saw the atmosphere, I was like, I could do this, you know. Yeah. See, do you know what's mad, yeah? I had a similar revelation, yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the same because I remember the first time I had to dance on stage. Mm. Like the atmosphere was mad. Mad. But dancing wasn't for me because I couldn't I don't mind freestyling. But getting the steps down was difficult. Difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I do know what you mean about yeah, yeah. being on stage and just looking up and being like, "It's mad." Oh my, it's dude. mad. This is mad. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's a. Do you know why it's a blessing though? Like, from my childhood, I never understood this gift, which I always believe everyone's got this gift. Mm. Yeah. If you can imagine you being on stage or being at a, a stadium or wherever, mm. it's possible, mm. but. You have to make sure your faith acts upon the same level of the dream you had. Mm. I realise people have dreams but don't have faith. Yeah. And that, it just doesn't work. work. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm. from young, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I knew it would happen. And obviously coming from Brixton, mm. it seemed impossible. 
Like, I thought you had to be signed. You had to be like, do you know what I mean? Do you remember? Because like, obviously to us, yeah, in the same, end, it's, yeah, like, it's like, it's like enough. Do you know, you know the mean? first time I realised yeah, mm. that people could blow when I saw Krypton Conan? I was like, I was like, no, 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 no. But Conan used to, no, 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 no. It don't make sense. <laughs> you know that in your head, you're like, wait yeah. a minute, like, he used to go to the same primary school, like, we used to, like, cross paths, like, yeah. I know he's an actual person. Mm. <laughs> Do you know That's, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, That's yeah. why it's so important to have that representation. Absolutely. Because man. you don't know who you're inspiring to Absolutely. do the next thing. Well, I used to think doing. if your mum wasn't do you got Aretha Franklin or like a family, you couldn't get into the scene. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. And it's like and you, you have to remember where we're coming from. Things were hard. Mm. Like dinner money for me was mad. Bro, bro Do you know what I'm saying? Do you so, know what, yeah? I remember this brother. He gave me like five pounds or something like that, yeah. Mm. And I kept ducking him. <laughs> I kept ducking him because, like, bro, I only had a little bit of pocket money, yeah. Mm. And when he found out that I get one pound a day, yeah, mm. he was like, bro, yeah, I don't even want it, yeah. And Imagine it was it. weird, yeah, because I, I didn't like that. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Even though I was ducking him, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't like, like the that, fact that he, he was he like, "Bro, you. you're poor." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like when yeah. my family is not poor, not poor. Yeah, yeah. but then mum's not gonna give you bare yeah, money to go. Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was just like, "Bro, no, that made me feel some way." Do you know what's mad? But it was it was hard still. Like, yeah, it was hard. Yeah, no, our parents like they they made a lot of sacrifices, like building abroad and yeah, stuff like that, and they played chess. You feel what I'm saying? So. When you play chess as a parent, mm. you got to sacrifice the now for something later. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so as mm. me and Don are coming into like, like, thir- like I'm 32 now. Yeah. Don's going to be 32. Amazing, wow. Oh, wow. thank you, man. Yeah, I've got a good wife People mind your business. Young. Fresh face. It's true, you know. Uh, we pray that the blessings. You know, know what I mean, yeah, bro? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, now we're seeing all the benefits of that, you know, mm-hmm. whereas at school, sometimes you didn't really see it. Like, yeah, you're just yeah, like, bro, yeah. why is life so hard for us? Yeah, like, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Bro, so, do you know what? I used to get vexed. Because, you know, my, my guys were on badness. Like, some of my Gs were pulling up to school, yeah, in a whip at 16, you know? Mm. And I was looking there thinking, bro, bro. Like, some people were like, just madness. Yeah, like, the yeah, stuff yeah. that people were shot in on school. And I was yeah, thinking to myself, yeah, yeah. Right, like, you see this thing that you're shutting? Like, they used to run jokes and be like, all right, how do you roll a spliff? Mm-hmm. And man didn't, fam, you think you can roll spliff in my house? Right. Man didn't mm. kick your face in. Do you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, mm, no, nah. so they're like, thing, and then that's how they caught people out, innit? Mm-hmm. Like, the same with the sex questions as well. Yeah. Which, like, you know, <laughs> you got actually sex questions, car, people be like, yeah, yeah, yeah fam, man, man hit it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get hit with a question and it's like, no, nah, bro, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, we were so defensive as yeah, olders yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, do you know what? Like, I think because there was so much pressure of trying to prove a point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's why I kept on saying to myself, I need to break away from that, from that thing because mm. it, I'm just harming myself, bro. Mm. Like, imagine going to school or imagine going to college consistently lying. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think, I think most of us do. And then you realise, like, oh, all these, all these people lying as well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Like... And I just, that's why I realised that I was like, even the man that I knew, like, I spoke to one of them, the man yesterday, and like, I was just telling him how proud I am, like, you've come from where we've come from, grew up, mm. you're a footballer now, you're a professional, you're a G, bro. Yeah. Mm. Like, you should be proud of yourself, mm. bro. Yeah. You've got your kids, you've got your missus, like, you know what I mean? I'm still yeah. looking for my missus. Mm. Yeah. So you're good. But at the same time, I feel like it's such a beautiful thing because we're a huge testimony. Even you guys are part mm. of the testimony of that. You you don't need to worry about where you're from. It's all about where you see yourself in the next few years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I never like to tell the youngers as well, like where you're from doesn't determine where you're going to be at. So mm. I'm very on this thing of like, it's okay to move away from people that don't believe in you or don't see where you can, can be. be yeah. yeah. Because I'm not going to be that friend. I tell all of my man, especially if I hear that they're going on, like someone's disrespect to them or something's happened and I know what they can do. Mm. And I know there's a mentality that I would have because I was around that. But then it's like, that's not me anymore. Yeah. So if I'm a true fan, like friend, like don't do that, bro. Because yeah. why would you go back into your old ways where you took so long to be where you are now? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just feel like all that pressure is not necessary, bro. Like, it's it's not necessary. It's mad because uh, even I was speaking to one of my boys recently as well, and he's doing mad things like, bro, like, 
you're doing crazy, crazy things. And mm. I'm like, bro, just keep your head down. Keep your head down. And he was saying to me that, like, so much mad stuff has happened. That he's just had to, he's had to cut people off. Like, yeah. He's had to be like, rah. Yeah. We can't chill anymore because yeah. where I see myself going, I can't even take you. Like, you can't even have a logical conversation with someone 100%. who's on the same zone as me. 100%. Because you may, I will always be anxious that you might mess up my thing. Yeah. And in turn, mess up everybody else's thing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. what people don't understand is that I feel like the block mentality that we have here yeah, mm. is always never really about ourselves, but always really about someone else. Like if you dig deep enough here yeah, to most yeah. of the people from the hood, yeah. you'll find that they want to do something for somebody else, yeah, like, yeah, not yeah, just yeah. for themselves. It's a family thing. Yeah. Of and, course. And, and well, I've been saying the t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, respect like, to respect. yeah, but you know that's my thing. I'm just mm. kind of like it's it's crazy because that one person can literally like topple everything, hundred percent. And it's just like it took, as you said, it takes so long to build up that self belief for yeah. a lot of people. A lot of people that you know it's it's really important. So, oh, before you, uh, I just wanted it, to say mm. sometimes you know people can act like you're being bougie. Mm. Because you actually believe in yourself. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so for me, I was always a good reader. Mm. Like, mm. I used to love, not good reader, but I used mm. to enjoy reading. Mm. I used to love it. I used to enjoy writing and language. And I didn't really know where it was going. Mm. Do you feel what I'm saying? Mm. A lot of people have this false idea that I'm clever. Nah, or I'm as dumb as they come, yeah. But I'm very conscious of things. Mm. Mm. I always wonder about things mm. and I've learned how to use language to my advantage. This is mad. Because you think that you're like, you used, quote unquote, you said you was dumb, yeah? Like, He's in the spirit. Go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say something, yeah. go on, go on. <laughs> Which is not true, yeah? Like, yeah. It's definitely not true. Like, yeah. Sammy is so smart, yeah? yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of get where he's coming from, from my point of view as well, because mm. like, I feel like I am street smart. Mm. Like, there's some things here yeah, when you see, you just know. Yeah. yeah. And you're yeah. just like, yeah, you see that? Yeah. Bro, like, like a if, spidey sense. Yeah, you're like, bro, yeah. don't go around that corner, you know? Yeah. And you, get, you always get your friends who want to go real. around the corner, and, and you're like, bro, don't go around, like, it's I've real. been here, I've seen this, it's like, real. a thousand it's times, real. don't it's go around real. the corner. And so, I'm lucky that you are, like, book smart mm. in terms of, like, language. Mm. Because I just feel like when we speak here, yeah, because I think that's what people have always been drawn to is me and Sammy's brothers mm. that he's so much the language side mm, mm, and people are just captivated when he speaks mm. and then I'm so much like my spidey sense is tingling that they're like wait a minute what and then they're like oh what do you do I'm like I'm a social worker they're like what like, how does a social worker become street smart yeah, like yeah. you know and the parallels are crazy but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all a blessing man yeah, like, and that's why it's important for man like us mm. to delve into what we're doing 100%. because we can talk to people that certain people can't talk to. Can't you. Talk to. Do you feel what I'm saying? 100%, 100%. So that's why I go hard and I have a lot of black men on my show. Mm. And that's by design. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? 100%. So, I, I love that, bro. Do you know what it is as well? Again, this is something I've clocked with you, so mm. I might be right. I feel like you're much more of a thinker. Oh, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Oh, definitely. So, so it's mad. I kind of, it's mad. Anyway. It's like someone said to me, mm. weirdly, mm. um, Bro, how comes? So you never really cheated on your wife ever? Ooh. And I was like, no. Mm. And they were like, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, man, they ask me yeah, questions yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, well, first of all, I made a commitment to her and I love her. Yeah. Mm. But more than that, I thought about her parents. Mm. They've welcomed me into their home. Mm. Food that they had. Mm. They for, their for their family, mm. they put me a plate as well. Mm. How can man disrespect that? Mm. That's just because I've taken the time to think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And like, sometimes man them don't think about it. Like all it takes is like some nice breasts mm. and then like, oi oi, yeah. eight years, goodbye. Bro. And then like, you know, Bro. you didn't even do what you were supposed Bro, to do properly. So much facts. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? You thought it was going to be an hour. It was like 20 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're from eight, you know eight years away. Was, um, eight, it's been a while. <laughs> it's because you're so bad. You know? <laughs> Bro, I'm uh, telling you, it's, it's mad. It's you know, mad. It's the mad. thing about being someone who you're not is so mad. It's peak, like, isn't it? Yeah, it's peak. It's peak, like, it's peak. Even that, yeah. 
bro, I've seen some people finesse them situations. Bro. Mm-hmm. They're just like, oh, pardon me. We had to go around two. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, men are just, they're just like, yeah, that happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. And like, it's a confidence. And the yeah, girls yeah. are just like, oh, man, all right, yeah, cool, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah, keep going. No? And yeah, the confidence. Keep yeah. And for some people, it's just like, you spent so long gassing it up mm-hmm. that people were expecting you to be level 100 mm-hmm. and you're not level 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? This ties into another conversation. Let's so, I'm, I'm going to go to the, the first one you did. Yeah. So, you see, when you're just like, oh, like, Guys don't get like how you don't cheat and all them things mm. there, yeah. So obviously now like man's in the music scene now. Mm. Right? So obviously it's mad where we've got on oh, the R and B world. I love this girl. You're my wife. You blah blah blah. Yeah. But then I'm working, and I'm seeing that it's not what you're what you're thinking about. Yeah. So mm. I'm seeing something different. You know. What I mean? <laughs> so, so it's mad because mm. I remember when I was in a relationship. Um, I was in a relationship for about three years maybe, mm. and then I remember. Um, I won't say the artist name that tried to move to me, mm. but um, I was gassed though. Yeah. I, I, I was gassed. I'm gonna tell you all, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mind the business. Okay. Mind the business. <laughs> but like, I was just like, raw, like, because obviously I'm still new, still growing. I was just like, is this, is this what, is this what goes on? Because mm. like, you just broken up with your man, and then you even know some, I'm some fresh meat. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, cool. So I've just, I've just finished playing, and then like, she was just like. So sick. I'm like, oh, thank you so much, darling. Nice to meet you. I can't believe I'm seeing you in person. Like, I watched you on TV for time. Like, congratulations. I'm being mad cool. Mm, yeah. She's like, you're so cute. Come give me a kiss. I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, you cheat. But she tried. Oh, oh, man. You know what I mean? Mouth switch up. You know what I mean? Try to do a little, Aaron, you know I mean? little <laughs> Aaron Shearer thing. Like, you know I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, hold on, hold on. So obviously, like, I was like, oh, I got, I got a girl, man. Like, come on, like, you know what I mean? She goes, well, that's rare. I was like, whoa, mm. mad. I was like, what does that mean? She's like, guys, guys like you won't care. Guys like me. Ga- Bro, I was about to say. Guys like me. <laughs> what? First of all, baby, I'm new to this game. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, I love my girl. And just like you said, like mm. I, I feel like every guy asks me this all the time. How do you cope? How do you cope? I'm not saying it's easy. No, I definitely Because not. there are some girls that are just fire. Mm, mm. And it's just like, you're definitely from the devil. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you're definitely from the devil. But at the same time, it's like, I gotta try and keep that composure. You know what I mean? So it's mm, mad. Bro. So like, it, it, it's, it's so crazy. So like, I tell the man all the time, if you genuinely love your girl, mm. and I mean you love your, your woman, cheating's not gonna come in here. Mm. Yeah, it's Because true. for me, how I know that I'm gonna go astray is my thoughts. And mm. I know how powerful my thoughts are. Yeah. And I know that I'm so creative. If I have a vision of a woman, it's already curtains for the other girls. Yeah. I know this sounds bad. I'm exposing myself. I don't care. But <laughs> it's, 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 it's just what yeah, it is. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? See how my people are like me. Men, I'm, sometimes I'm like, mm, should I say that? I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but it's good. Better I feel like we all get right to right learn, right. innit? We all yeah, get to yeah, learn. I don't feel true. like it's good hiding too much. But, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And for me, it's like, it's important. I I, I said it. I didn't care. Like, I have to be with, bro. Yes. Me turning down who that 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 woman like mm. is a big thing. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time I love her. So when I told the bandmates and they were just like, "Bro, what's going on?" I'm like, I don't know, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, How do you Bro. do it? Like I don't know. So literally, um, we get to the table mm. and she's like, "You're not gonna come sit next to me." I'm just like, <sighs> cool. <laughs> she's like, "Do you want a drink?" So obviously, to me, drink's gonna be like at the time I'm still new to this, so mm. I'm thinking oh, I might be a little humble coke fan. He's like, no, like, do you want a JD and Coke? I'm like, oh, she was oh, setting okay. my mouth. I was like, oh, but obviously, I'm so naive. So okay, yeah. okay. So I'm just like, okay, like, cool. And she says, no, do you know what? I got you. I'm just like, hmm, okay, bruv. She got a bottle, yeah. Mad. And the bottle cost 500 pounds, bruv. Huh? Mad. 500 pounds, bruv. And she says, it's for me and you. Now, for me, Boy. 500 pounds was like, like 10 million aside, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, what? especially on a bottle. Are you what? Right? We just spoke about a pound lunch, man. <laughs> bro, it's true. we're coming from the days where we had a pound, two pound. Mm. If I was lucky, get five. Yeah. But then I'm with a woman that's, oh yeah, it's only 500 pound. It's mad. Bro, she's setting you up. Bro, I mean, she's flexing. Bro. Bro. She was flexing. Bro, so obviously... I thought, let me be a, she's bought the drink, let me be a gentleman, let's just pour the wine for her and everything. She's like, you're so sweet. 
how old are you? I'm just like, I told him my age. He's like, you sure, man? Do you want my ID? Do you want my ID? Because like, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Like, I get ID everywhere. It's cool. So obviously we're joking about and everything. And then like, I remember we're just drinking and stuff. And then I just feel hands on my leg. Mm. So I'm like. That one's always a mad one, you know? Bruv. That's, that's if that's happened to you, man, then we, Brother, you know, fam. Brother. And for the girls who stop doing that, bro. Yeah, stop <laughs> doing it, bro. And it's mad because them girls, I don't want to start trouble, but they'd be like, oh, men cheat the most, brother. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. But I feel like we should come back and do a next thing about women. But, you know, <laughs> brother, it's mad. So, obviously, I'm just like, yo, this is, this is crazy. So, I, I, in my head, I was like, I need to find a way to get out. So, I literally just like... Looked at my phone. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> mm. I got a girl. Like, I live, and I, I was being honest though, like, man, yeah. it was far. So, like, I'm trying to get home. And that was, like, my saving grace, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, but she like, she had mad techers, bro, yeah? Bro. She made sure, like, you were the age of consent. Bro. Then she, she tried to get mad liquor up. Bro. bro. And then she tried to secure it with the touch. Bro. Hey. <laughs> She's a prof- I don't know who she is, but yeah. she's a professional. Bro, professional. Bro, bro chop bear man like that. <laughs> <laughs> You see them tactics, yeah? Mm. They're not the way in which she done them, yeah? Mm. That's not something you do for, on first try. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, You're yeah. a master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. done that bare times. 100%. Mm. Yeah. 100%. And even the fact that she said, oh, like, don't worry, like, even when I was going, so I, I got my driver, he's like, literally outside. So, again, mm. driver. Just patting and laughing. Yeah. The driver thing I'm used to seeing on television, now I'm hearing that you've yeah. got like, So, this is mad. So, yeah, it was my yeah, she was trying to flex on you, bro. <laughs> you did well, you did well. <laughs> you did, I tried, I tried. I tried, I tried you see that, that, yeah, man has to... We can go on, we can go on. Do you know what, and some... <clears throat> this is why I think that some people are so direct, mm. especially in that industry. Mm. And I think when you watch it sometimes, you don't understand it. When you see people with paparazzi and all the rest of it, and you think, look, right, that person's so cold. Mm. But imagine trying to do what you did every single day. Mm. To stay faithful to your wife. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. Mm. That's why I feel like a lot of these rappers and that. Mm. And even singers. Because singers front like they're any different. Oh, they're the same as rappers. All the same. Mm. Yeah. All the same. But it's like, imagine dealing with that every day. Mm. So I've said it before on this podcast. Mm. Imagine being a pretty girl. That like from the time you're 18, yeah, so non-stop, non-stop, man, them always want to get at you. And now mm-hmm. it's not, and now it's worse because they just go on your DMs and they just <laughs> say, look, look, yo. this is my dick, you know? <laughs> 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 that is mad. No, big man, what is the, what is, because I don't understand. Why do you man them send them I, pictures? I don't, I don't know. know. Like, is that going to make a girl go, right, that's, that's. I've never, and that's what I'm saying. I don't get Me that. personally, I've never met a girl, although she probably wouldn't tell me, mm-hmm. who went, well, damn. That's a really nice penis. Right. I'm going to take him up on the offer. But, 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 uh-huh. but, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. But there are some girls. But there are some girls. Do you know why, yeah? Do you know the reason why I say mm. this, yeah? So I was on some mad post, yeah, mm. this morning, innit? Mm. And guess who it was? Mr. Shackle Bars, yeah? So, oh. <laughs> okay. And um, his caption, yeah, mm. was like, don't watch this if you're insecure. And I'm thinking, oh, I saw that yesterday. Man. I saw that yesterday. See, I'm the only one who didn't get bro. I saw, I saw that yesterday. I saw that yesterday. I and I was like, like, okay. I was like, whoa, fam. Okay. I was like, fam, like, this is. Because you know, you don't expect it from Shackle Bar. Like, yeah, I was just yeah. looking for some nutrition, yeah, yeah, yeah. some mm. help. Or some next, saying? like, new thing. Man, that did we don't know the about. whole Baywatch out of the water, wow. tight trunks. I was wow. like, wait. First and trapping, yeah. If you see the female, fam, was like, bait. It was just like, zoom, zoom. So I understand, yeah. Mm. Why, like, some girls are like, right, so nasty, like, why yeah, would you do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And to me, where I've come from, mm. that don't rap, like, use your words, bro. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Use your words. Use your words, bro. But when you get a reaction like that, mm. then what do you think he, like, if he wanted to, he could just. Yeah, but DMs see, there's, there's a difference, yeah, because that picture mm. is a hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a scandalous man, mm. You drop the hook and you you just wait. Wait, yeah, yeah, And you yeah, see wait. all of the females who put, you feel what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Put them little mm-hmm. emojis, yeah, yeah, part yeah. eyes, yeah. and then you DM them. You DM them. You, you start, know what I'm saying? Stop yeah. scrolling through, swiping left for yeah. the one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, then you, and then you just say, all right, this one, 
they would tolerate a dick pic. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, but it's what's crazy. mad is mm. just sending it out of the blue. Hey, oh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. pretty. Look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Man said that. laughs> it's mad. I don't get it. But you know, you know what I realize that the difference is. Yeah, mm. I realize that girls love like dick prints, but not mm. dick pictures. Okay. Yeah. That's what I've clocked. Mm. So like, I remember. Again, it's always at work. It's it's always mad. I remember dances up. Like we were rehearsing for what was we rehearsing for? I think for like a like a show. And then I came in like grey tracksuits. To me, I'm just I love grey tracksuits. Yeah. But I didn't know it's a it's a problem. You're like, setting up the thing. I yeah. didn't know. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm playing drums and I get up because we're all I'll just gassed. Mm. Like the bandmates just gassing. I'm like ooh. So, mm. and I got up yeah, and mm. I just remember the girls would turn turn around. I'm just like, did I do something wrong? And they were just standing in there for a time. Mm. Right, and I was just like, "What's going on?" And I remember, in my inners, mm. my music director was like, "Sit down, my brother." <laughs> 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 so obviously, I've yeah. now gone back to my talk, mate. Like, what have I done? <laughs> He's like, "You don't know about the great tracks, you." <laughs> I'm like, "No, brother." He's like. Just sit down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so like we we have a break now and everything, and I just remember the girl just like, hmm, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, what's going on, blood? And I realized why they were doing it. Mm. But I, to me, I maybe it was just me having fun at the drums. Mm. I got excited, but like, but it wasn't as like mad to yeah. be there because I would know in it. Mm. Yeah. But I think girls are intrigued by like the print of it rather than just the pictures. Yeah. Mm. Well, I feel like... It's like women in lingerie. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? There's yeah. something real sexy about yeah. a woman in lingerie, but then if they I just back it all out. You're just like, where's the setup? Like, yeah, like, like, yeah. You've got to give me the assist before yeah, you get yeah, the yeah. bowl. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I think it's a similar thing. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not yeah. a woman. I can't really speak, really speak on, on it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be but interesting. I'm assuming it's that mindset, isn't it? Because, yeah. like, for example... As well, if your girl was wearing like lingerie yeah, mm. and she approached you, you'd be like, cool, innit? Yeah. I reckon even if your mum came in and your girl was in lingerie, mm. yeah, your mum would just be like, oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. But if your girl, if your mum came in and your girl was sprawled out naked, yeah. mum would be like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> She'd just be like, what, what yeah, the hell yeah. is going on here? Yeah, like, yeah. So I think there's... There's a stage that people can push past, isn't it? And mm -hmm. then there's the stage that everybody will understand that you're trying to be respectable. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's still it's still an element of wonder. Yeah, yeah. That Absolutely. I think that's what it is. It's kind of like you know, like knew this art. Mm -hmm. Like because the art is there, mm -hmm. we're kind of like it's not like hypersexual. Like nobody's gonna see a picture of a naked woman, yeah, who's like posing and like yeah. an intriguing shape yeah, and be yeah. like. Are you hang porn around your house? You yeah, like, oh, yeah, this yeah. is fine art. Like, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, it's all just rest and batty everywhere. It's and then, you know, it's it's so a, one thing I wanted to ask you <laughs> yeah. is, we touched on obviously how you you kind of had low confidence. Mm. So how did you start to build on your confidence and em emerge? Yeah. That's a very good question. Um, Honestly, bro, I just feel like I was a, I was just on flight mode, if I'm honest with you. Okay. Because I think the more I kept on thinking about how to progress, the more I was actually going back on myself because I'm an overthinker, right? Mm. So the more I keep pondering on it, the more I'm just going to keep setting myself back. So I just believe in just being on flight mode. So I just never think, I just act upon it. And for me, I, I, I believe in confidence and silence. Mm. I'm not really on this thing of like, this is who I am, this is who I've played for, this is how much I've made. I'm not really mm. I'm not really about that. Do you know what I mean? So um that's why I know a lot of people get really confused in my personality because I'm this person off stage, quiet, unless if I know you, you'll be comfortable, mm. crap jokes, mattings. Mm. Yeah. And this guy, stage mode, I don't recognise myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. I look at a video and be like I will never do that in real life. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's so, adrenaline though. When oh, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, it's weird. So a lot of people ask me, ask me this all the time. So when I perform, and I thank Michael Jackson for this and the band, because I realise like, you're not just performing and you're not just doing a job to get paid. Like, mm. I like to be the character of the music I'm playing. So if mm. a rapper is saying, I'm a boss and I'm, a, I'm, I'm this, 
I have to make sure I'm playing them drums like a, like a boss. boss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Although I know I'm not like that, but I have to because I need to represent the set. The set. And like, and I have to think about the producer, where he was at. So that's how I think. And I just try and put my personality and project it out. And I mm. feel like that's probably the reasons why a lot of people like connect to me because I just put everything in. Mm. You know what I mean? And the more I just kept on doing that, I realised that every time I perform, even though I was very scared, I'm gonna be honest, like mm. I'm always honest on my Instagram. Mm. I'm very scared, bro. But this is why I always say, do it when you're scared. Cause you see when you cross that line where it says stage, you can't go back. Mm. Yeah. And that's my way of thinking about life. Once I cross that line, there's no way I'm turning back. It's either you sink or swim. Yeah, no, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And like I just have this crazy mindset of this like once I cross that line, I can achieve anything, no matter what. You know what I mean? And um I don't know man I'm just a huge believer in just like making sure that even when I'm playing it's not just about me it's about everyone, everyone. and my gift is not just for me it's for everyone so mm. I give everything bro you know and um yeah that's pretty much yeah. that is refreshing that's to me yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. telling you because so I feel like so many people feel like what they do is for them mm -hmm. Mm. Like, this is my thing. Mm. I'm doing it for me. For me. Or I'm doing mm. it to be happy. Yeah. And that's part of it. Mm. But you don't know what you're setting in motion yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you bigger. actually fully give yourself to Absolutely, the craft. Bro. And you pull it out there like, here, I have everything. everything. When you're in your everything. bedroom with the one mic here, that's just you in it. Bro. By the time you end up in a studio, engineers, bro. on stage, bro, bro, bro. It's, it's no longer you, bro. Mm. And, like, and, it's, and it's crazy because, like, again, I'm going to be very honest on here, like, Bro, I've been on tours where I was depressed, bro. Oh, so and, and no one ever clocks it, right? Is it? No one clocks it. Because I feel, honestly, I should get paid for acting. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I'm you acting <laughs> screen, yeah? Like, Warner Brothers hit my yeah. hand up. Bro. <laughs> hey, the on the I just did the whole team. I'm just like, bro, like, no one knew. Like, no one knew. And I, when I came out on my Insta and told people, like, what was going on, I'll never forget this girl. Like, I'm a shout out anyway. Um, her name's Billy, yeah? So, um, beautiful girl, like, from your first girl. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, like, I was on tour with Koji Radical, yeah? yeah? And, um, I was in a very weird place in my life. So, like, everything was going good. Dreams were coming to pass and everything. And I just realised that majority of everything I wrote down, um, in my dream gold list was just... Being ticked off. It's just, it's just, it doesn't make sense. And, um, so I, I ended up in the show in Manchester. And that time I realised my body is just not having it, bro. Mm. And then I was, I was just like, I don't know if I can complete this tour, bro. And then obviously to everyone, oh, he's just cracking jokes to everyone, he's fine. Now. But I was just in my bunk, my, 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 my bunk on my tour bus, like just by myself, just chilling. Because I just kept on overthinking how am I going to perform. Yeah. Um, and I just remember just breaking down. But how I break down is mad. So I break down, yeah, and like, I'll be smiley as ever, mm. but deep down I'm like in bits. Mm, yeah. So that's why I always tell people I kind of look out for people that smile and just giving out bare jokes. Mm. They're the people that I'm worried for because they're the ones that because from I I realize my depression um, is different from everyone else. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I was just like, oh, this is crazy. So I'll never forget. I'll never forget her. So like, she um saw me at the gig and she hugged me. And she just looked at me like, and it's weird because I can do that to other people. I can read people as well. Mm. I can hug someone and be like, no, something's off. Oh, yeah. Or I could be on the train listening to music and someone will sit next to me. I don't know who they are. And they're like, I can feel everything. Mm. It's a, it's, it's mad. It's like, mm. I don't understand this gift, but um, she hugged me and she just looked at me. And she goes, are you okay? I thought, what? <laughs> I had the costume down to a T. <laughs> you know what I mean? So obviously in my mind, I'm like, hold on. Man's just done a gig. Man feels like a G, yeah? Obviously, you know, shout out to Koji. He made me take yeah. on my top because the girl told him. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, just like, let me just show a little something. <laughs> so I was like, right, yeah. you know, a little flex, you know? So obviously, like, I was like, no one's ever, especially in the audience, asked me that. Mm. That don't make any sense. And then, like, I actually spoke to her a few weeks ago and um, she literally confessed that I can tell you was in your moment, but you wasn't here. And that rattled me. 